Oh yeah, I came back pretty late and you had fallen asleep, so I didn't want to wake you up. But you know, I'm here. Well, yeah, that reminds me. Um, my wife is coming back today, so I would like you to take care of things around the house and uh, make sure that Bella takes a shower and, uh, of course, eat. You don't have to worry. Hmm? It's my job. I'll do that. Okay, that's very good. Let me go get something from the car. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh -uh. Are you just leaving? Okay, come, 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 come. Oh, yeah? You want me to spank you, yeah? Mm -hmm. Hey, Emma! You like it, huh? Yeah. You like it? Hey! Another one. Another one. Oh! <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Go, come back. All right, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right back. Where is my daughter Bella? You know, pass gate. My daughter never gate. You know, pass you man. Something wrong with your head. Uh -huh. Are you crazy? Tell me, sir. I'm standing here telling me your daughter is at gate. Where I'm looking for my daughter. Ah, hey, Bella, let Bella pass. Which Bella? And I'm put Bella for sleep now. Sir, sir. Listen, listen. I'm going to take a picture of you. I don't know what you do. For. You people should look for my daughter. My daughter can't just wake up and walk past this place without being noticed by the either of you. So, I tell you guys what, 
if you don't provide Bella, I will deal with the both of you. I promise you guys that. I promise. Yeah, I just I just got to call my two and go work through. Yeah, I mean I'll respond to it, but right now right now I'm nothing. I don't even I like like it makes no sense. How does a four year old just leave without nobody even noticing? Yeah, I'm gonna respond to it immediately. Yeah, I have to. So fine. I'll talk to you later. Alright. Okay, bye. Sam, you called me. Yes, I did. Uh my friend actually just called me and I need to go look forward to this. I'm probably kidnapped. Kidnapped? Yeah. From school away? Yeah, we'll just have to know when we get there, don't we? You want me to come with you? Uh, yes, if you're actually not too busy, I would love for you to come. Oh, no, not really. Sure, let's go. All right. I will take a day for Bella. Why, why you for You don't get You don't get You don't You don't what do you do that I don't know if you I lie on. Bella. I want finance for that. I want to be more this guy should be like Looks like somebody walked into this room and kidnapped your daughter. Hey! I'm finished. You're Come on, we'll go. That, that's not possible, officer. No, 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 you can't. It Pass. looks like somebody literally picked her up and took her out of this room. There are no signs of struggle, nothing like that. Everything looks orderly. Everything looks like she just got picked up and walked out of this room. Or she walked out herself. Smells like chemical. What chemical? I think chloroform. What's chloroform? Wow. It's a chemical that can be used to induce comas. Yeah. Coma. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go to the living room.
My name is Detective Steph. And who are you? Without being told, you should know this is my home. Oh. Um, <clears throat> um, Madam, I'm so sorry, but we got a phone call that your child is missing. And from every indication, it seems she's been kidnapped. What nonsense. What stupid talk is that? Alice, where's uh, Bella? Bella? Where's Bella? 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 Bella, Bella mommy is home! Bella! Madam, can you please? Baby! Mommy is home! Madam, please calm Bella. down. Bella! Madam, can you please calm down? Where is the child? I think he stepped out with my boss. Look, we're hey! going to... Madam, listen. We are going to open an investigation for your child, okay? And I'm pretty sure someone in this house <laughs> knows your child's whereabouts. My child is missing. You want to open an investigation, official, before... Wait! Wait! What do you think? Hear me out on this. It can only be two people inside that house. Either the security guard or the maid. Is it not too early to conclude? It is, but we have no contact. We have to start investigating. It's already harder than it is. It can only be two people in that house. Sure. I mean, a stranger cannot just walk into someone else's compound, locate the child's room, and then picks her up without exactly. the help of anyone from the inside. Exactly. So you agree with me, it can only be two people inside that house that could have brought an outsider inside. Come on, it's so obvious. You know what? Let's just wait till they make contact. Time, time is going. You are a useless man. I regretted going into this marriage. I left the house for just three days. Three days and I can't find my child. Did you tell me before leaving this house? No, you didn't. You don't care about me. You don't care about your daughter. You don't care about this family. All you care about is yourself. You left me a divorce paper to sign. How stupid of you. You know what? You are a very stupid woman. A very stupid and useless woman. Nonsense. I will show you what a stupid woman can do if I don't find my child now. You drunken bastard. What did you just call me? Bastard, yes. I'll show you what a drunken bastard is like. Call me a drunken bastard, yes. Call me a drunken bastard. Are you mad? Are you crazy? You want me to show you what a drunken bastard acts like? Absolutely ridiculous. You're stupid. I'll show you this house. I'll show you. beg you for one thing. If there is any way that I have offended you, please forgive me. Forgive me and tell me where Bella is. Say, 
I'm ready to pay you any amount. I'm ready to double the amount the kidnappers promised me. Just tell me where Bella is. Alice! Madam, I saw you <gasps> give God. Me, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't even help anybody kidnap Bella. Eh? You know, you know me, I love Bella too much. I don't know, madam. <laughs> Alice, please. Bella is my life. Please. <laughs> madam, please. Me, I don't know. I don't help anybody, madam. <laughs> Alice, Ma, I want to promise you one thing. Mm -hmm. If I can't find Bella, I will kill you. Eh? Yes, it's a promise. Get out. <laughs> Get out! You know, stupid idiot! Please let me know why you think you call. You, know, you just you asked if anyone has called and I told him no one has called to, you know, to ask for anything. Madam, this is about 24 hours now, and there is no form of calls from kidnapper or kidnappers. So I think it's time to open an official investigation. So I'll go by the book. Everyone in this house must be investigated. Each and every one must be interrogated, and no one leaves this town. With all due respect, Miss Inspector, or remind me, Detective. Detective. My housemaid and my security man should be held responsible. One of them, or both of them, must know where Bella is. Um, Madam, like I said, I'll go by the book. Okay, everyone must be investigated. Who knows, we may find something that will help us. I can't believe that Bella is not here. I can't believe we're still doing this over 24 hours. Uh, I will have to take my leave now. Thank you. Which one is go by this book? I want to see my child. Ah, which book? Oh, God. 
Bring my child back, please. So like I said, um, the opening this as a kidnapping case and with that all the necessary procedures need to be taken despite of who's involved. So I'm just going to be asking you a few questions and please do not leave out any details. You can go ahead. Okay. So just give me an account of the people in your house. Let's start with your husband and your relationship between the both of them. It's not mine. Have you been cheating on me? No. For how long? Like I said, I don't know where you got that from. It's not mine. What? Are you being serious right Stop now? Stop lying! What are you? I'm Stop not lying. lying! Like I said, it's not mine. I have been, oh God, to believe this. I have done everything for you in four years. I have been the one doing everything, everything for you. I, I, I paid your bills. I take care of you. What is this? Have I not done for you? Why did this? Why did this? Work? Sick and tired of you talking about the things you've done for me. You go about telling everyone, telling the neighbors that you do this for me, you do that for me, that I'm jobless. You've really called me to nothing. Why? Now you've turned me into a laughing stock. For no reason! Is this supposed to be an explanation for for the- You go to hell! I don't know what you- ah. You slapped me! Yes, I slapped you. And I won't apologize for that. You won't apologize for what? You won't, you won't apologize for what? Eh? You won't apologize for what? You're mad! Something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. I will show you today. Where's my belt? You are mad. Where is your belt? Where's my belt? You are, you are, you are crazy. You are mad. What you are slapping? You are, you are something wrong with you. That is wrong. You, you, you put your hands on me. This is badness. Hi, madam. You feel this day there, do? Hi. Now, bro, I gotta give you a bean a slap. I look like slap. I be I do mistake. Oh, 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 yeah, sorry, sorry, madam. Eh? I know you even know what What you do? Say so why your guy go beat you like this for this early morning? Oh, sorry. Eh? Hi. Hey. Now for washing. Get them a wash them. Sorry, you know, you see your face, you may do. Hi, Gano Pity. Hi, Gano Chara. Come on. Proposal? Not yet. I will look at it after now. Okay, I'm waiting for it. Okay. What 
happened to your face? Oh. Oh, Mercedes. Never mind. You should be careful next time so you won't damage your pretty face, okay? Thank you. Okay, I'll be waiting. Let me know when you're done. Okay. <laughs> Shit! This bastard gave me bruises. of a hundred thousand naira today. What for? I'm asking you! Are you stupid? Are you mad? How dare you ask a man what he does with money? Are you stupid? Are you mad? Have you forgotten who you are talking to? Huh? Is something wrong with you? Oh, because I don't have a job. Now you're insulting me, disrespecting me in my own house. Are you stupid? Is something wrong with you? You are the stupid person to have taken my money without my consent. Just because you have my ATM card and my PIN? Wow! I need my money. Please. Please. I'm begging you in the name of God. I was just sitting here, mad at my business, thinking about my life. Until you came in here with your negative energy. Please! I don't want no problem. I don't want no troubles. Okay? You do not I'll... have right or whatsoever to take my come, money. Come I need come, my I will money. slap you! Brian! Brian! You have to give me my money! Give me my money now, please! I need that money now! Same, same. I have no idea. My husband took such a loan. Wait, 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 sir. Did you say he used my original card document as collateral? Oh. Okay, okay. Please, please. Hold on, hold on. Don't do anything yet, okay? I'll get back to you. Can I? Yes, yes. I'll get back to you. Bria! I don't know what Ah, this man. Get to the house. He has to explain to me. I don't know what kind of marriage. What kind of marriage? Oh My husband. He come out. He come out. I'm Bella. And she they sleep. Brian, can you give me a reason why you took a loan using my car as a collateral? I'm the man of the house, and I think it's paramount that I do whatever it takes to help this family. How has taking a loan without reason helped the family? It's for a business. What business? It doesn't matter because it failed anyway. Does the business fail? I'm talking to you and you fuck! Don't you ever in your life think you can treat me like a child you can do that? Do you understand? Don't you ever do that again, stupid <laughs> man. Okay. 
Instagram. Bria. What is it? Why have you decided to be this man? Why are you frustrating all my efforts of helping the family? You just want to help yourself, you're not helping the family. How? I pay all the bills. Here you go again, talking about paying the bills. I have told you several times to stop talking about paying the bills whenever we are talking. No, well, like, I don't even have time for this, man. Why can't you for once be a gentleman? Gentleman, what do you be gentleman? Why can't you be a good husband for once? Brian? Brian! So you went through all this. So tell me, um, let me ask you, do you believe that he's still broke? And if he is, do you think he will plot the kidnapping of his own daughter just to collect money from me? My husband is so many things that are bad. He has done so many bad things. But kidnapping his own blood? Nah. I don't think he, he will go to that length. Makes you so sure. Baby? Yes. Um. I want us to talk about something. What? You know, I've been thinking a lot about us, about, you know, our situation. It's just a suggestion, basically. Um, you know, I'm thinking maybe, you know, we should adopt a baby girl, a girl child, you know. Why? You think I can't give birth? Look, babe, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying right now we just need to, you know, face the truth like you know it's, it's not we've been trying and trying and it's not happening and i think we should just you know just adopt it i'm just being honest every man needs a child every man needs someone to carry his lineage sustain his name and you think i don't want that for you then if you want that for me let's just adopt a child girl child come on babe please before babe come on it's not even like that come on babe just think about it okay you know we can just adopt a girl child we we'll always do you know, we continue to try. I think you should consider what your husband said. It's not a bad idea. Joey. I want to be able to have my own baby. I want to be able to carry him or her, love him or... I want to be able to give birth to my child, not another. I understand, but you know, 90% of the children at the orphanage were rejected by their parents. If you adopt them, they become yours. And trust me, you need a child to continue your legacy. So. Adoption is not a bad idea. Honestly, I won't be able to love him or her like mine. 
You have to try to love the child. It's a good thing your husband suggested to adopt the child, you know. If you can't handle it, let him adopt the child. Then you play along, you take care of the child. It's, it's a good idea. It's not a bad idea, trust me. I wouldn't be able to love him or her. It would be difficult. You will. You have to try to love them. If you cannot love the child, then don't adopt. You accept you're ready to live the rest of your life without a child. If not, I think you should consider the idea. It's a good idea. Good. Oh. I'll think about it. Okay. Hello, baby. You're home to me. Baby? Have you had something to eat? Why are you ignoring me? Is it because I refused your demand to adopt a child? Or is there something else? Bene, you don't want to give me a child. You don't want us to adopt one. You just want me to be miserable. Why? But you know what? I've refused to be miserable. I've refused to die young. I'm going to go out there and I'll find me a woman who's fruitful and ready to give me a child, whether you like it or not. You know you won't bring her to this house because I won't hesitate to throw both of you out. Oh, really? But I have my father's house. At least we'll go there and I'll, I'll be peaceful because I can't remember the last time I knew peace in this house. Excuse me. I have my father's house. Excuse me. decided to accept your solution about adopting a child. Yes. And I promise to take care of her. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. You are the best. I love you so much. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Yes, yes, we're gonna have a little, little feet running around the house. Just anything to make you happy. I appreciate you for this, man.
everything is fine. So I put this. Hello. <laughs> this morning, Ma. How are you? I'm fine. I can see you're happy for. Yes, you're doing so. You're liking this. Have you been happy to it? Yes, you're eating something. You can see you're happy with the time. Yes, Ma. The baby. Bella. How are you? Fine. Bella, do you know who is this? I'll buy this one. Yes. Oh, uh, I'll just do this. Okay. Uh, I'll be my friend. Okay, ma. I'll do this. Give me a five. Give me a five. Give me a five. Give me a five. Do you want to change it? Mm, I've worn it for so long. Mm. This is old. I want you to change it. But baby, I love this because you got it for me. You remember, yeah? So, I, it kind of represents something to me. It means a lot to me. So, I don't, I don't ever want to take it off. I'll get another one. Something much better. But this is good. I'm not yet tired of it. <laughs> Until then. Yeah, um, babe, that reminds me. Um, I've been thinking, you know, you literally work all the time, and uh, I've been, you know, submitting my CV to different companies. You know, very soon I'm going to start working again. So I think yeah. we should, you know, Hire a nanny to take care of Bella, since both of us who might not be available all the time. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. You can handle it. Of course, baby, I can handle it. Thank you so much. You're the best. And I, I'm thinking we should, you know, you remember Alice, our former yeah. household. Yeah. yeah. I think we should reach out to her and see if she's still available. What do you say we you know we contact her and see if she can you know come back and you know work for us she's been gone for so long yeah of course yeah but there's no harm in trying let's just reach out to her and see if she still want to do the job because she she's very familiar with her home so that will that makes it easier for her and our, our for us as well. She understand my house rules, right? Of course, yeah, she does. Hmm? Okay, that's not bad too. Thank you so much, but you are the best. Thank you. And I love you. I love you, Mama. We've listened to you, madam, so you're trying to tell me that if your husband did all this, his only motive would be to just to collect money from you. I am What do you think? I think the husband has a motive to kidnap his daughter for money. Why not just ask for money? Why will he need to kidnap his daughter? Maybe he needs a lot of it. No. I don't believe Brad can do something like that. Are you being objective? Are you speaking as a detective or a secondary school classmate? Detective, look, people change. I think we need to bring him in for questions. I'm 
going to be asking you a personal question. You don't have to pick offense. I know it's your daughter that is missing. But for us to get her back, we have to leave no stone unturned. We understand that you're not friendly with money, which is why you always have issues with your wife. Taking her money without her consent, taking loans and using her car as collateral. And we understand that you're broke again. And for you to get money from her, you arranged your daughter's kidnap because you knew she would pay. But I wonder why your partner has not made any call for ransom. Did she tell you all these things or you were just standing there speculating? Mr. Brian, why did you kidnap your daughter and where is she? No, you're very stupid. Yes, you are sick in the head. I promise you that. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Luke. Oh, we know Luke was your secondary school classmate. And he may not really see you beyond your physical look. Which is why I decided to interrogate you myself. I did not kidnap my daughter. I love my daughter with all my life. And I will never do anything to hurt her. But you will do anything for money. And you are very funny. I love my daughter and I love my wife. Clearly, you love your wife. But the last time I checked, your wife is your punching There home. you go again speculating about me without single evidence. Yeah. And we have no evidence. But you have a motive. What motive? Money. <laughs> you need money. You're broke. You're sick. Yeah. Can you see yourself? Can you see how shameless and stupid you are? Instead of you to tell them what really happened, you changed the story. You started telling them how broke I am, the fact that I, 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 I used your car as a collateral to, to get a loan. Are you mad? Is something wrong with your head? I'm talking to you. They think you kidnapped her because you want my money. Of course they would think so, because you, 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 you made up a stupid story about me, telling the police that I'm broke. If you hadn't told them that, they wouldn't have that theory about me. Yes, you're broke. And you need money. You can set up my daughter for kidnapping. Look, if I need money, I will ask you. And if you say no, I'm going to use your house as a collateral to get another money. But for me to do that to my own blood, I don't know. I will never do that to my daughter. Your blood? Really? She was adopted, right? Of course, but she's my daughter. Yes. Look, you better take yourself back to that station and change the story. Else, this house will not contain the both of us. I won't tell another story. But look, Brian, if they find out that you're behind this, I will deal with you. And I mean it. You're very stupid. Just get out of my face. Excuse me. Just get out of my face before you are, you are hissing yours. You're mad. Good, better go back and change the story. Stupid woman. Just imagine. Me kidnapping my own daughter. How dumb can you guys be? Like, how dumb? Fuck, no, let me change. She's going back to the station. Look, I swear, I spilled my life. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything. I swear my life. No, 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 Madness, madness, madness. 
Magnus, you know something. Magnus, you know something. You have to know something, Magnus. Huh? I'm going to ask you questions, Magnus. Are you this, sir? Don't lie to me. I'll let you talk again. Magnus, don't lie to me because if you lie to me, I will put you inside a cell. Ah, I don't feel like. Magnus, shut up! You're the security guard there, right? Yes, I'm Magnus. Yes, I'm me. Yes, sir. We've started off on a good foot. I like this, Magnus. I want us to be friends. So you are aware of who goes in and out of that house, right? Yes. Now my work, you follow my work. Yes, sir. Good man. Good man. I like yes, this. Fantastic. So, who did you conspire with to kidnap that child that uh, night? Uh, conspire. I got no conspire. I conspire. I see. My work for that house no pass in the morning. I'm not shut up and answer my question, please. If I lie for you, what's that again? Good Magnus, again. you are in charge of that gate. Yes, sir. So yes, tell sir. me, who did you come with that night when that child was kidnapped? In fact, who was the last person to leave that house? Okay, I got me to that night. You get my people go out there and to date and to marry. I like food. For a radio station, as my guy, you're there blown, and my guy, they carry for the moto. He don't drunk, drunk in the school over the moto. As I, as they went down, I look, but my guy, the moto is my beer palo. As I open up, my guy, as they enter, as they enter, I can't go back to my post. Okay, as they drive, enter inside, I don't know where they even drive, come out, I don't know. I did my position. My guy, shut up and listen to me. Everything you are saying here is recorded. Do you understand? Uh, Do not lie to me. You don't record your life. Ah, uh, guy, if I lie, what's not again? Don't tell me that you did not see that man leave. Ah, but I see that day at 4 a.m. I don't see how when he come up for that gate. 4 a.m. I love how back for that monster. She don't need shout. I don't see how when he come out. I go in back in my post, but I go see that there. I don't know when the man pass. If I lie to you, what will I gain? As the breadwinner of my family, my duty is to stay the truth and serve my nation. But I swear, I don't know. I don't. If I, I don't know, sir. I won't lie to you, sir. I did not know, I didn't know, I didn't know, no, I don't know, sir. Sir, please. I know. Please, sir. Okay, check anywhere. Check anywhere, okay, I beg. My work is to come in the morning, buy a go, open gate, close gate, and leave me. If I see evening, I go, I buy. If I know, sir, nothing, I don't know, I beg, I beg, sir. I beg, sir, okay, I beg. Okay, ma, okay. What you did was wrong. You should not have made him look bad in front of the detective. Remember, you always speak good of him. Joy, I have been living a life of lies. My husband is a beast. He beats me up at every little provocation, argument, mistake, or anything. How long will I continue like this? I'm done with this marriage. I have already filed for a divorce. That was before my daughter went missing. And you kept all this away from me, pretending all is well. What else could I have done? I'm aware that a lot of people have problems in their marriages. And they still try to, you know, to keep it calm. But not anymore. I'm so sorry about that. So, do you think he has a hand in this? Joy, I honestly don't know what to think. I, I'm confused. Well, a new development came up. Your security man actually stated that on the night that your daughter was missing, that your friend Philip brought you back late. I'm sure you remember that, but he stated that he never saw Philip leave your house. So you're saying my friend Philip kidnapped my daughter? I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that 
we definitely need to bring Philip in for questioning. Am I under arrest? <laughs> Don't worry, you're not under arrest yet. If you're under arrest, I won't be questioning you you in my office, would I? Relax. You were the last stranger to be seen with Brian the night his daughter was missing. Why? He was drunk and I just helped him home. How long did it take you for you to leave? Ten minutes. We just helped him to his room and I helped put off his shoes and helped lay him on the bed. I mean, you keep saying we. Who is we? Are you talking about the security man? Of course, yes. Interesting. And did you see that same security man when you were leaving? I didn't, no, I, I didn't. And when I left, the gate was not that locked. Uh, how convenient, huh? The security man was not there, the gate wasn't padlocked. So you left with his daughter. So, do you think I kidnapped her? Yes, you are really No, 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 no. Let me paint the scenario for you. Your friend told you to stage the kidnapping. Why? He's down on his luck. He's broke. He can't make another loan on any of his properties. So what does he do? How conveniently he calls his friend to stage the kidnapping of his own daughter so that he could be collecting money from his wife. You are in the wrong career detective. You try Hollywood. You try Hollywood. <laughs> I know you want, but I'm going to detain you until you say the truth or until you are cleared. I need a lawyer right now. I need a lawyer. Don't worry, my friend. The lawyer will be given to you in due time. planned it with my husband or he did it all alone. We have no proof of anything. Everything is right now is circumstantial at best. Okay, so we know that he was the last person to be seen with your husband the night your daughter was missing. So that puts him at the scene and it also gives him motive and everything. But we detained him. But we might as well just let him go if we don't have anything substantial with that any proof. We can't just keep him there. Oh, sorry. Hello? What? Who? Alice? Oh my god. Um, my security man just called. That Alice is my house here, packed her bags and move out of the compound. What? Yes. No, 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 no. She can't do that. We need to go there now. Oh my god. We need to go there now. Okay. she was trying to run away because of what she did look you don't need to just keep her there you need to torture her she has to confess this is the fourth day my kid got missing and nothing has been done about it i need Madam, answers i, I need Madam, results I understand. I understand where you're coming from i understand your emotions but we also need to be guarded we don't want to make any mistakes and we also don't want to arrest the wrong person listen I will bring her in here for questioning. And trust me, I will get the answers and the truth from her now. I just oh. need you to go home and let me do my work. You want me to go home? Very well then, I will go home. But before this day ends, I need the result. Positive result, Mr. Detective. Excuse me. 
I swear by my God, I don't know anything like this. Way, so I don't know anything. Where is I don't know. I don't know. Who did you organize to kidnap Bella? So I don't know. I don't organize anybody to kidnap Bella. Do you realize that I can put you in jail, or worse, I can kill you if you lie to me, Alice? I'm not lying, I'm telling you the truth. My auntie called me that she is sick. That's why I rushed to her. <laughs> So he's telling me that it's about revenge. It has to be more than one. It's about revenge. No ransom, no call, nothing. It has to be usual. And I'm afraid to say it's bad. I think the baby may not be alive anymore. You're a very confused woman. First of all, you told the detective lies about me. You made them believe that I, I kidnapped my own daughter. You lied about my financial status. Why? Why, Olivia? As if that's not bad enough, you, you accuse my best friend of kidnapping my own daughter. As if that is not dumb enough, stupid enough. You, you accused our house help. You accused poor Alice for kidnapping our daughter. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, Olivia? What? I don't know, are you stupid or what? Or probably the detective that you're working with are stupid. Because this doesn't even make sense. You are the confused, drunken bastard. There you go, calling me names again. If Bella do not return to me in one piece, I will have all of you thrown out of my property. And yes, I gave you the divorce papers. Do where to sign them. You're very stupid. I have to put a gun in my head to sign it. Do you hear me? You and your generation are stupid. You are stupid. I will slap you. Are you it's mad? Useless. Just get out of my face. Stupid, stupid woman. woman. Yes, and I will beat you again and again. Because you've, you've chosen to be senseless. No, Crazy stupid woman. Drunken your father is a drunken bastard. I will, I'm come. Alice is my cousin. She used to stay with us here until she got a job as a maid. A year later, she came back with pregnancy. Pregnancy? Yes. Um, she got pregnant, and my mom tried as much as possible she could to know who the father was, but she refused to say anything. And, um, my mom had no choice but to accept her, took care of her till she gave birth. It's been four years, and a certain person kept sending money to Alice. 
she refused telling us who that person is. All of a sudden, she said that her former boss wanted her back. And that was how she left. Did, did she leave with the baby? How old did you say this child is? Four years old. Hold on one second. Is, is this the baby? That's Bella. That's her baby. This is Bella? Yes, that's Bella. Okay. Okay. Um, I hope Alice <clears throat> is in no sort of trouble. No, 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 no. Not at all, not at all. No, no, no. Of course not. It's just that uh, a man uh, stepped forward and claimed he was the father. That's good news. Yes. That's good news. <laughs> I'm Great happy. News. That we, yes. We've been waiting to know who the father is, the child <laughs> is. Yeah, haven't we all? Um, I would tell Alice that we ran into each other and we talked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was there, my mommy came around. Oh. What's your name again? Uh, uh, Inspector Luke. Oh, it's nice meeting you. Nice meeting you as well. Yeah. Okay. Have a nice time. We know you right. We spoke to your auntie. She was made sick. So tell me the truth now. Why were you wrong? I was running because we don't build up for that house, there is nothing for me. Spell your baby. <laughs> yes. Wait, who's Bella's father? Oka Boss. Talk! We're looking at the wrong direction. I don't think she kidnapped her own daughter and went to work with her. Something doesn't add up. But did she plan to take the child first, then come back when things heat up? It doesn't make a complete sense. She gets her enters relationship with her boss, gets pregnant, then is sent away. She gives birth to the child. Then they adopt the baby. A few days after she's taken away the baby. Does it does it make sense? Does it? Someone is not telling us the complete story. Bring the answer to the show. I want you to tell me everything, okay? Everything about your boss. From before the affair to after the birth of Bella. So you coming back to the house four years later. Mama boss is a nice man, no? Me, I no go do this with you again, no. Why? Hmm? Didn't you enjoy it? I enjoy it, but me, I don't want to betray my dad again. No? <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter, okay? We're just having fun. And she's not going to find out unless you tell her. Are you going to tell her? So you want to be enjoying me and my dad? I'm going to tell me, me and my dad, you sweet ass. It's the time bed. <laughs> you, of course. <laughs> you are better than the best. Uh -huh. Yes, so you, you are better than the <laughs> best. Are you sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, you are better than the <laughs> best. <laughs> Alice.
I think we need to do some shopping for her. You know, I don't like to meet you. Dress around the house. Like I can't have her walking around with outfits like that. She's just a house hen. She doesn't have to appear classy. Look, I understand. I'm not saying we should turn her into a slave queen. I'm just saying that she should appear decent in people. Might just look at her and probably think we're not treating her or something. And start talking. Okay, just you know, get her something, you know, something decent, something nice. I think you're paying so much attention to her. Never mind. I'll stop by at the mall tomorrow and see what to do. For now, hmm? will you enjoy your work? Of course. Yeah. You know, you are on a food diet, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's about time we, you know, maybe hire a security guy or some sort of help to help her out, you know. It's obvious the shows around the house, it's a bit much for her. What do you think about that? I think so too. You're right, so. Yeah. Get someone employed. Of course, yeah. I'll handle that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, now? It's all wrong then. It's all wrong for me. Uh, I don't want to do it. I don't do it. <laughs> you sure about that? Mm -hmm. You're good. You're good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, once you're done with what you're doing, call me upstairs, okay? Mm -hmm. Upstairs. Yeah. We are be having sex with that protection. Me, I know won't get better. Mm -hmm. Look, if you get pregnant, you keep the child. Hmm? Madame will just kill me. No, she won't. But you and Madame, eh? Now they take protection, they do. No, of course not. Huh. And she never get better. That means she is bad. I beg, next time we go to the dorm with Madame, they use protection. Make sure you know it's with valiness. Oh my god, Alice. <laughs> Look, Alice, one cannot be infected with barriness, okay? It's a medical condition, not an infection, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, don't worry, okay? <laughs> I wish I can have you all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have me for the moment, so I think you should enjoy it. I don't want the moment I want to. <laughs> Oh! 
police. Sir? Why didn't you knock? Oh my God. Get out of this place. Sorry, sir. No, no, sir. We're not knock. If I slap you, you did not. We did not. Just get out of here, please. Just get out of here. Sir, are you knocking? Rubbish. Get out of here. Leave here. What kind of nonsense is this? Oh my God. She couldn't even knock. I'm so sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. Good morning, sir. Hey. Um, look, I'm really sorry about the way I spoke to you upstairs. I, you know, I, you know, I, I didn't mean it. Mm. It's okay. Mm. I understand. She's your wife. Me and I, your sex toy. It's okay. Look, you know what You are lying to me. Even you said you know said you lie. I'm not lying. You know I love you. You know that. Huh. So you love me and you're sleeping with her without protection. Huh. How do you know that? Huh. I saw your thing. Look, that, that doesn't matter. But the most important thing is that you're the one my heart yearns for, okay? You mean so much to me. Don't ever forget that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You can know that you move out. Let's see. Do I need to Pregnant. Sorry, would you? I get better for you. I don't know what you're talking about. But my wife was not here about this. What do you go do now? Your position will be vacant till then. Alice, how long do you intend to stay at your auntie's place? A week or more. Okay. Um, it's okay, you know. Make sure you see me tomorrow morning before you leave. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, that's your auntie. Harsh. Why do you have to permit her with her? Hey, look. Auntie's not feeling well. She has to go to her. And why must she see you before she leaves? It doesn't matter. You know, give her a token to, you know. Look, life is hard already for you. Like, that is my duty, not yours. Hey, but of course, but you're making it half hour already. I have to step in. Come on, babe. Cheer up. Okay. Let's watch your romance or oh, so change it to my channel. Too. So you had Bella at your auntie's house? Yes. And he's the one that was sending you money? Yes. Lion? Mm -hmm. So what happened before the, you returned to his house? He, 
he came and told me that he wanted to adopt the baby and me I go to take care of the baby so me I can tell my to me I can come lodge for hotel for one week before I can go in house. Prior is a master planner. Indeed. Um I'm gonna keep you here to protect you, okay? Because the person who took Bella me come back and want to hurt you. So we're gonna keep you um protect you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't worry, everything will be fine. We'll find out. What is that? The divorce papers. Who signed it? I will sign it tomorrow after speaking with my lawyer. No. I want you to sign it now. For what? I'm tired. I'm done with you. Go ahead, sign it. Like I said, I'll sign it tomorrow. Brian. Brian. You can't run away from this forever. You have to sign it. discovery that you had an affair with your maid. Calm down, relax. I don't care. I just need you to help me solve this case and save your daughter. Because it's looking like the person who kidnapped her did not do it for money, but for revenge. Yeah. Wait, did you say revenge? Like I said, we yeah. discovered that you had an affair with your maid. You got her pregnant. And to hide it from your wife, you decided to send her back to her auntie. That is where she had Bella. And I'm guessing when you figured out that your wife could not give birth to a child, you now decided it as a bright idea to bring her back into the house. So you convinced your wife to adopt and that's when you brought back your daughter. Brian, listen, I am your friend. Tell me if any of my findings are wrong. Hey, please don't tell my wife about this, please. Please, let her go, come back. Well, what if she already knows? You, you think she's the one behind the kidnap? We're still looking at all the possibilities. We do not even know yet. We haven't. We're still putting one and two together. I I don't know. Is this is this the reason she gave me a divorce letter? See, listen. We're still looking at the possibilities. Okay, don't think too much into it. I'm still looking at the possibility she could have even been helped by somebody in the house. Wait. Who? Oh, Magnus? Listen, like I said, we're still putting one and two together. But what you need to do now is stay away from that house. Keep your location secret. We don't know who is the enemy and who is the friend. But plus, we also don't want to make a mistake too, so we're not going to put you in risk. Just play it safe. Yeah, of course. I'm, 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 man, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you for this one, man. 
Thank you so much. So Do you think she had hair? She returned and traveled in that morning. How did it happen? How did it happen? Do you think she's working with Phillips? Or maybe Magnus' is security guard. He has ins and outs of that house. Magnus did not leave the house that night. I want to bring in from a question. She will suspect we are closing in, and if she's involved, she would want to cover up her tracks. Did you do what I asked you to do? Yes, I did. Good. Fall off with it. I want to invite her in for more questioning. There's a lot more than we do not know. Some men are bad, no matter how you treat them. And come to think of it, we have never treated her badly. So, you you know, you said she's in the police custody. Has she said anything yet? Nothing at all. Nothing. She has refused to mention her gang members. Gang members? Yes. Yes. Um, she can't do that all alone. She must have some people around her talking to her, telling her what to do. Oh, my daughter, I just hope they are taking care of her. Oh, the detective is coming. Hello, detective. Yes, I'm at work. Okay, I'll be there right now. Yes, thank you. Okay, I have to go. Okay, they want to see me again. Please, I'll call you as soon as I'm done. No, no, you can just stay at work. Before we discuss our findings with you, just, just want to ask you a few questions if that's it. Like? Um, your husband and your maid, did the affair start when she first came to your house or four years after she returned? I have no idea. Do you mean dating? Oh, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. If I find out they are dating, I will kill Alice. How did you ask for Look, detective, I'm tired of paying bills and debts. But you asked for a divorce the night that you were leaving and also the day you came back. Then your adopted child got missing? My husband told you we adopted her? With due respect, detective, where am I being interrogated when my child is missing? Madam, why did you ask for a divorce? What has asking for divorce has to do with my missing child? Well, because we discovered that your husband and your maid had been in an affair since she came to your house. And also four years after she returned, they continued. The next time I set my eyes on Alice, I'm going to kill! And we also figured out that you found out about the affair. Absolutely no. I have no idea. So indulge me, madam. It's almost been a week since your daughter has been missing. And the kidnappers have not contacted you, me, nobody about any form of ransom, nothing like that. That's not weird to you. Detective is quite strange and um, I've been thinking about it. Yeah, we also came to the conclusion that whoever kidnapped Bella was not for money, but for revenge. Revenge? Look, detective, I have no enemy. I have never hurt anyone. Maybe my husband. Yeah, exactly. Maybe your husband has hurt somebody. 
just maybe. The detective promised to get the kidnappers of my daughter. Okay. okay and uh, I'd like to hand over this office to you. Okay, handle, take care of the office and handle all my transactions. I have a business meeting in Dubai. So, take care of this place. Do you have a business connection in Dubai? Um, by the grace of God. Yeah. So when are you leaving? Before the weekend. Okay. I got your back. Are you sure? I got to be taking care of this beautiful space and more money, more customers. <laughs> you may want to make all the money from you. Make, make all the money. You get I new. Make money. Oh my god. <laughs> Taking the bait. This is so exciting. Check the last paper, sir. She returned the same night. Look further. You will see the hotel she lodged in at 6 p.m. and then she returned home 8 a.m. the next day. On Friday. She knows her husband goes out with his friends and gets drunk on Fridays. Why? What do you mean? Get me Phillips. Get me Phillips right now. All right. Thank you. Where and when do you and Brian usually go out for drinks? Fridays. Every Friday you guys drink and get drunk? Yes. But he's not a heavy drinker. Once he takes the bottle, he becomes drunk. Every Friday. Prepare his release. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Have you... Have you seen the kid? Why 
we're on it. Um, we're still putting things together, but we're in the right direction. Besides, do you have any information about Brian and the affair he had with his maid? I am his friend. So I. I know everything. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Um, from everything I have seen, oh. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I'll tell you. Thank you. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to ask you a few questions. You know, nothing too much. Please go ahead. So, like I told you earlier, we've done our investigations and we figured out, like I told you, the motive of the kidnapping of your daughter was not money, but revenge. And we've put one and two together. And I was hoping that my theories were wrong. But everything just comes back to the same person. And who is this person? You. You. You can't be a serious detective. I want to know your theories. <laughs> well, let's start off with the fact that you discovered that your husband and your maid were in an affair. Did I just see you kiss Alice? Wait, are you... <coughs> Alice. You for real? Like, are you really asking me this question if I... If I kissed our house, how? Oh? Alice! You kissed Alice. <laughs> wait, <that's... laughs> wait, wait, look. Are you trying to prank me right now? Because it's not funny, honestly. If this is a prank, it's not funny. Why would I kiss Alice? I kissed our daughter, Bella. I don't know what you saw, but I'm telling you, God, like, I can't even believe See, this. This is That's not what I saw. You kissed Alice. <laughs> I didn't see you kissing Bella. Maybe you just please tell me that this is a prank. You're just trying to, you know, mess with my head. Because this doesn't even make sense. Alice! That dirty thing, like, oh, babe, like, if you want to disrespect me, at least put some class to it. Don't disrespect me like that, babe. Come on. I kiss our daughter. Like, are you for real? Is this, is it? Is it... Okay, wow. I'm sorry. But, no, I'm sorry. It's, it's fine, but I, you hurt my feelings. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm wrong. You're wrong. Not maybe. You're definitely wrong, baby. You are wrong. Like, what? Oh my god, like, okay, I I'm like... sorry. I thought I saw you kiss the house app. You have to stop with all these silly imagination. Did you know I love you? And I'm here for you. Always, always here for you. Me too. Mm -mm. Well, I have my work. Well, um, Bella, Bella, Mommy, love you. Mama, Bella, Bella, Mommy, love you. Mama, Bella, Bella, Mommy, love you. Mommy, love you. Bella, Bella, Bye. Good, good 
afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, miss. Bella? Yes. yes. Hello, mommy. Hello. Mommy? Say hello, mommy. Hello, mommy. Yes, baby. Keep playing. Bella, Bella, mommy loves you. Say the mommy loves you more than Alice. Mother. Ma? Ma? Is something going on in my house while I'm at work? Nothing they go on, madam. Alice. Ma? Are you sleeping with my husband? Huh? Sleep? Ha! Madam, no. I don't feel do that, can't you know? Alice. Ma? Is he begging you to sleep with him? Madam, this thing where they ask me like this, you know they beg me, nobody they beg me to sleep with them. All. Why should I believe you? But believe me, oh, I know, you know, say me, I know if you do have. Baby, play, keep playing. Alice, Ma? should I trust you? Ma, you can trust me, trust me. Yeah, I know them. I know they do anything for your back. But I really like it. Is that it? That is normal. I mean, every woman will suspect her husband's infidelity. And besides, Cheating is one of the characteristics of men. You could say that. But then you must have suspected that Alice must have given birth before she came back to your house the second time. Yeah, um, yes, please. Good afternoon, madam. Alice? Ma? Ma? How are you? Madam, I did find you okay. Madam, this your house come fine. Your house is fine now. Okay? Mm -hmm. ah. You're welcome to my home again. Thank you, madam. Alice? Ma? I'm sure you understand why you're here. Yes, madam. <laughs> okay, for example, tell me. Eh, eh, say eh, what I want to do, but when in the in come out, Alice, Ma? meet my baby Bella. Bella, your baby. Hey, my madam, don't burn. Madam, you know, even they make I see you when you did, Bella. Baby, say hello. Hello. Hey, bro, what I clean, I so call you, bro. Bella, madam, she resemble you. Hey, Hi. Ma. Um, you know how busy my schedule is and um, my work and all of that. So you're here to take care of my house and of course, Bella. No problem. Now that one I said, Ma? There will be no mistakes. Mistake There will be no sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. And there will be no tears on her. Yes. Alice, ma? There will be no scratch on her body. Gosh. Meaning that you oh, must baby. oh baby no no don't worry less meaning that you must take care of her better than I do ah that one I get that for grade one hey then this be fine you you can go to your room I'm Bye. sure you know your way now this one she yes <laughs> Bella hey we want to give the paper Alice Ma? Go in there, drop your bag, come pick it up, but make sure you sanitize and wash your hands. Sammy, go wash your hands and sanitize your hands. I can wash my hands, now that sanitizer, I'm There's not a sanitizer that. in your bathroom before you touch Bella. Like that, Mr. Rice. Hey, I don't have two minutes. Okay, Master. Oh, easy. 
So, I'm going to talk to you about Alice, okay? She's your new nanny. Do you like her? You like her? Okay, so. You're just telling me the debate in your head, right? More theories, hypothetical. So, Mr. Detective, what next? You ponder on all of this. Tell me I was wrong. Tell me this. God. Oh. This thing between us is not working. What is not working? This whole marriage thing. I need a divorce.
Look. Maybe just just calm down, okay? Maybe just calm down, okay? Don't tell me to calm down. I've tried to make it work, but it's not working. See, if you don't give me a divorce, I'll give it to you. I mean, after the DNA confirmation, you asked for a divorce and you did nothing. And that same night when you traveled, you asked him again. man is stupid and unprofessional. You got away with it. turned home detective you're full of stupid theories or what do you call it again hypothesis now you tell me where is my child where is my daughter and where did I keep her I'll figure out that don't worry but when I do I will lock you up and you would not come out from me Mr. Detective, your time is up. Please leave my house. That is the door. And do not return here without my child, okay? So she kidnapped her because she, she she found out Ambella's biological father and our household is her mother, right? Yes, but we're tracking every every movement she makes now. Wherever she goes, we're going to. So there's no need for her. Running. 
Any update? Sir, she's at home now. But she has made two different phone calls. First, she called the hotel and made a reservation. Secondly, she called someone to get a package delivered to her to the hotel tomorrow morning. Did you get the hotel's address? Yes, I Good, good. Just I want to know wherever she goes, even if she breathes, I want to know. Thank you. I appreciate you for this. No, that's okay. Yes. Um, hello? Yes. My flight is uh, it's 9, it's 10 o'clock. So you need to be quickly off at exactly 9.30. Yes. No, 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 you, you don't have to call me. I'll text you now my uh, my room number and my hotel. Don't call this phone again, okay? Yes, 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 I'm in a hurry. Yes, see you see then. Thank you. For the past 10 hours, the signal is off, and it was last seen in the house. Maybe she turned off her phone or something. No, she trashed the phone. We need to get your house now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. My daughter! Mrs. Olivia O'Brien, you are under arrest for the kidnapping of Bella Bryan. Anything you say here will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney, and if you can't afford one, one will be afforded for you. Please come. She's my father. daughter! You She's my daughter! Where is my Brian, daughter? Is where is my daughter now? Tell me! Brian. Where is my daughter? Where is my daughter? Tell me where my daughter is! Brian, where is easy. she? Tell me, where is she? Where is she? Brian, is he not here? Terrible! Madam, please follow us. He's a chip! He's a life! Madam, we know all this. Please follow us. No, okay, so you just have to come with us. I underestimated. 